Kyler Murray. You I may remember him from his days at a little town, at a little school in North Dallas. Tiny school. Called a little teeny tiny, tiny just a speck yeah. on the map. Just a speck. Allen. Uh, one of the greatest players in Texas high school football history. Uh, last week, when we were on the show, uh, we did talk about how it was announced that he was transferring, which is a big, big deal. Uh, but this week, we learned where he's transferring. And that place does not make Max very happy. You do hate the state of Oklahoma. It's the worst. You really do. I spent some quality time driving through it. I've done plenty of driving through Oklahoma in my day. It would way more in Oklahoma. Lots of things I've had to do in Oklahoma, none of them I'm proud of. Okay. All right. But uh, Kyler Murray is heading to the Sooners. He ha- is transferring. It was announced by OU, which is uh, it's pretty official there. Uh, it was, yeah. uh, he is heading to Oklahoma, and there were a lot of, of – it took a lot of unpacking mentally to, to kind of wrap my head around. You normally don't see things go this quickly. You normally don't see a transfer yeah. go from on one team to signing with another team in the span of like ten days. It was really quick. It may like have even been shorter. packaged packaged nicely, like with all of the quotes from Stoops and everything. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it was done, it was done, yeah. done, done. Uh, very, very odd to see. Uh, he is heading north of the Red River. There, we, we thought that there were a couple options. We thought Oklahoma was obviously an option. We thought Oregon, which, if you remember, was their second, was yeah. his, kind of considered his second choice, or maybe it's that, or Texas. Fingers crossed for that, so I wouldn't have to deal with Oklahoma. Texas but, came yeah. out and said that they weren't, in, or there were sources that were saying they weren't pursuing him, which seems bizarre to me, but it is what it is at this point. Uh, and they, and so Oklahoma wins the Kyler Murray sweepstakes. There's a number of of things here to unpack. First of all, I was immediately struck by the similarities in skill set between he and Baker Mayfield. Now, obviously, these are two guys who are come from very opposite ends of the recruiting spectrum. Baker Mayfield, he was getting recruited by some places. There's some, you know, there's some controversy as to whether or not he was offered by certain places or not. But... He was he was not this just white hot top tier ultra Correct. recruit. Right. Um, Kyler Murray was, but there are similarities in the skill set. I would say that Baker Mayfield's a bit of a superior passer. I would say that Kyler Murray is a bit of a superior runner. But there's a lot of similarities in crossover. And so when you look at the offense that Kyler Murray presumably will take over. Um, it will be it'll be interesting to see how he fits into the Lincoln Riley offense. Obviously, Baker Mayfield having a decent time there, mm-hmm. and and mm-hmm. the offense works around works for him. Can you have the same thing for Kyler Murray? Uh, I, I thought it was bizarre, not bizarre, but uh, I thought it was interesting that that he chose Oklahoma simply because they seem pretty decent at quarterback right now, uh, and it's not just obvious that Baker Mayfield's you know going to be back and going to continue to do his thing I believe he's what he's only a junior is that mm. right he's got one more year he's a uh, yeah, more he's to a, go he's a junior uh, Trevor Knight's transferring yep um so he's he's out but they've got uh you may remember Cody Thomas mm-hmm. who's only a redshirt sophomore uh you may remember uh you know and then Oklahoma people from Oklahoma will remember uh you know they've got Heritage Hall quarterback Connor McGinnis who was a big get for them a, a big Yep. Gem in their recruiting class last year. Oh, and don't forget they they do have Cy Woods quarterback Reese Clark on the mm-hmm. on the campus as well. This is not he's not walking in and guaranteed to be the guy. Mm-hmm. He is in fact going to have to fight tooth and nail for guys who have better measurables. To Connor McGinnis and Cody Clark and Reese Clark all listed at six <laughs> four. <laughs> that is a f- cool six inches taller than Kyler Murray has yeah. ever been. Yeah. Yeah, um, no question. It's it's a bit of an odd choice in that regard, but for me, the first thing that, that came out to me when this happened was, wow, he's not taking this opportunity to go to baseball. No. That was the thing that shocked me. Yeah. Because, uh, now, I am by no means a, a baseball recruiting expert. Okay? Right. <laughs> That's, let's, let's get that out of the way. But, f- but smart people whose opinions I respect have yeah. told me and, and have said aloud that Kyler Murray, if he had gone in the Major League Baseball draft last year. First round talent. 
would have been at worst second round. Yeah. And that's a guaranteed payday where you don't have to get hit in the head for a yeah. living. Yeah. Um, that he's a guy, a, a middle infielder, I believe, a, a second baseman shortstop type yep. who is an elite baseball talent. Yeah. And the thing about Kyler Murray that's always struck me is if you are him and your your goal in life is to be a professional athlete, yeah. your best shot is probably in baseball. Right. Because football, we've seen what Kyler Murray can do on a football field, but We've also seen what he's doing at the college level, and he looks a yeah. little bit out of, you know, he looks like he's, he's, he's swimming upstream for the first time in his career. Yeah. And the bottom line is, let's count the number of 5'10 quarterbacks <laughs> in the NFL. You go first. Uh, okay, so okay. are we done there? Yeah, There's so. just not a lot of them, and yeah. this is a measurables game in the NFL. Yeah. So if his goal was to be a professional athlete, no I've question. always thought that – his best bet was going to be to to go play baseball. Now, maybe there's a position change in his future. Mm-hmm. But even at 5'10", he's small for a wide receiver. Yeah. He's small for a, for a, I mean you you would presumably put him in a slot, but he is he's not this big bulky 5'10". No. He's a bit of a slight 5'10". And so for I thought that this when, when he transferred, my immediate thought was here it comes. He's going to go play baseball. He's going to go to yeah. a JUCO for baseball season, and then he'll be in the 2016 MLB draft. That was my thought. Yeah. Uh, alas, that is not what's happening, and he's heading to Oklahoma. There's, uh, if he sees the field, if he gets on the field, which, again, with McGinnis and Thomas and, heck, even throw Clark in there, and if they ha- bring in any any guys, I, don't, I haven't looked at Oklahoma's current recruiting yeah. class, if they bring in a quarterback, it's n- by no means a given that he's getting on the field. No. But let's say he does. Okay. I think that the offense is designed a lot like what he was running at Allen. Yes. And I think he'll have an even better running game behind him. Remember, they've got Rodney Anderson. Even yep. when, even, you know, Rodney Anderson and Joe Mixon will be there. Samaj P. Ryan, if he doesn't go to pro, well, you know, he's only a sophomore this yeah. year. They have tons and tons and tons of running backs. You know, the one thing to keep in mind there, though, do you bring up the offense? Is Lincoln Riley really going to be the offensive coordinator two years from now? That's a great I mean, point. He's one of the hottest coaching commodities, and didn't take a job this year, but uh, no, think, we got to think in a year he'll be at the top of a lot yeah. of people's lists. It, it, it just it struck me as an odd choice. Yeah. Uh, now, obviously, we're not in the room. We don't know what's nope. going on. We don't know. We don't know Kyler Murray's heart, yeah. but uh, it just seemed like a bit of a a bit of an odd choice. Agreed. But that's just where I sit on it. 